Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. And today guys, we are taking another cheeky look at Cardano and the ADA token. We're gonna to have a specifically uh, take a look at the Merry Hard Fork that's now successfully being completed, Chris. We're gonna go through that and what that looks like. Um, we'll also probably have a look at the ADA to USD chart, see how our favorite uh, cryptocurrency is getting on, Chris. I think there's, um, there's some things going on there. So we'll get into that and see see what we can see in the charts and go through all of that good stuff with you guys as well. So as always, if you do find the video useful, informative, then definitely go ahead and smash that like button for Chris. He really appreciates it. I really appreciate it. Um, and if by chance you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, then uh, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And of course, Chris, uh, before we get into this merry hard fork, uh, fantastic news. I think it's also worth just uh, talking quickly about the Cardano staking pool that we've launched, right? So we launched a Cardano staking pool, uh, must have been about uh, two epochs ago, something like that, um, about two weeks or so. And uh, yeah, it's doing relatively well, but uh, we'd also you know, like to get as many of our viewers over to our Cardano staking pool, delegate with us, and uh, we would love to just mint blocks with all of our viewers and uh, really help with a decentralization, if I can get my words out, Chris, um, for, for Cardano. Um, so you can find it on the Deadliest, the URI, or the um, uh, Atomic Wallet, yeah. Um, then, uh, yeah, you can find it under the ticker of Cheek. So do check it out if you're interested. If you've got a Cardano holder, um, why not delegate over to the Cheeky Crypto pool? Uh, we would one, love to have you. Thing, yeah, one thing I was going to say, if you're not staking or delegating, should I say, your, your ADA, then you're not making your Cardano tokens work as hard as you worked in order to buy them, right? You know, it's always really important to make your money work for you. Um, so, you know, if you're not, if you're holding ADA and you're not delegating it to our pool or somebody else's, then you're not holding it right, in my opinion. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Let's jump over to this, Chris. Um, so Cardano ADA successfully and completed the Merry Hard Fork, right? So fantastic stuff. So um, basically the crypto project uh, Cardano, and um, obviously that's why you're all here. So hopefully you know what that is, but it's basically managed to uh, complete one of two scheduled hard forks. Okay, so um, the fork uh, known as Mary uh, is the first step towards the Gogan phase um, of its blockchain evolution. Um, so the upgrade um, that came with the fork um, was able to unlock smart contracts on the Cardano testnet. So absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, and yeah, Cardano, one of the largest um, coins by market cap. And uh, I'll just bring this up briefly because uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's up here. It's got $13.5 billion um, currently, which is fantastic to see. Um, yes, it's definitely uh, it has made the next step in its transition from Shelley to Gogan. Um, the step uh, involved one of two necessary hard forks. The hard fork named Mary took place yesterday on February the 3rd, um, and that was 20 uh, hundred hours at yeah, UTC. Um, and it uh, yeah, finally brought native asset support to Cardano. Now the project is closer than ever to unlocking decentralized finance on its network. And it's absolutely massive stuff, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, and we, we've kind of always hinted to, to the fact that it's really important for Cardano um, to, to achieve the milestones that they set out in their uh, roadmap, Nick. So, you know, it's fantastic to see that they are doing that. It really is, yeah. Um, so Cardano completes the, the Mary Hard Fork, right? As mentioned, uh, the Mary Hard Fork represents uh, one of two major steps uh, towards bringing a wide range of new functionalities and opportunities to Cardano. Uh, the upgrade has uh, already unlocked many new opportunities for the project's community, but also institutions and businesses that use the blockchain. Um, and there's a fantastic tweet, isn't there, Chris? Yeah, like, so I'll just read it as it is. So today at 2020 uh, UTC, the next uh, testnet epoch rollover, um, we're, hard, uh, we're hard fork the Cardano testnet and apply the Gogan native token upgrade, aka Merry, uh, transforming it into a multi-asset network. Uh, next comes uh, mainnet, targeted by the end of february onwards so yeah fantastic isn't it nick it is absolutely awesome um 
do love the 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 input output uh, HK uh, Twitter mm. feed there for some fantastic news. Do check that out if you're not already. Um, so with this move behind it, uh, Cardano can finally transition from a test net to a multi asset network. Uh, ready to grow and bring capabilities such as issuance and distribution of new tokens. The project plans to roll out uh, the upgrade on Cardano mainnet by the end of next month and finally unlock smart contracts uh, where within its ecosystem. So, you know, even Cardano's price reflected the excitement prior to Mary Hardfork, um, with its price surging from, you know, 41.8 cents to 45 cents in a matter of hours before returning to 42.6. Um, and at least that was at the time of writing this article. If we just hop back over here, we can see that Cardano is at 43.16 um, currently. So really, really good stuff. And uh, Chris, you know, why is uh, token issuance on Cardano so important? Well, of course, Cardano is far from being uh, the only blockchain network that offers uh, token insurance via smart contracts. However, Nick, uh, it still stands out from the rest due to the fact that it it handles tokenization natively. Uh, in other words, Cardano uses uh, the Cardano ledger for token assur uh, insurance issuance can't get my words out Nick, mm -hmm. put my teeth back in uh, and and uh, in doing so it eliminates the need uh, to construct new layers on top of its chain uh, not only that but it al also allows assets to behave similarly to ada itself uh, there are only two differences between ada and the newly uh, issued tokens uh, and that is the fact that the, the tokens can be um, destroyed um, and the fact that only ADA can be used uh, for payment, rewards, fees and deposits. Building native assets uh, into the, the ledger will uh, revolutionize the DeFi sector uh, on Cardano and as transactions between native tokens and other assets come uh, without uh, extortion, uh, it, sorry, Execution? E execution fees execution fees there you go yeah so it's absolutely fantastic to see it's finally there on the test net um and i really am excited to see uh, the launch of gogan chris i think it's going to be really really good stuff definitely so am i can't wait <laughs> right should we get into um some ada price related stuff should we have a look at the chart and see what's going on there yeah let's do it fantastic so um yeah, when it comes to, I guess, uh, the ADA token, we've seen some volatility uh, recently and, uh, you know, it's been fantastic to see the rise most recently as well. Um, so in terms of a Cardano or ADA price prediction, you know, ADA, and uh, it's basically on track for $2 uh, as basically the whales are regaining control. Um, so Cardano price is back in the green, uh, you know, uh, most recently up here. And obviously we've had a bit of a pullback today. Um, so the, the, basically the market has risen by roughly, you know, 25% uh, or so in the last 72 hours. And uh, it's you know, significant mo motion to the upside here. And, and on-train metrics are basically, you know, confirming that whales are back in the network, uh, which could help push the price higher. Um, so good signs for uh, the bull run that's, uh, that's appearing now, Chris. Um, so the Cardano price uh, continues to increase with the exception obviously of the pullback today and we'll get into what happened there um, in a moment or two but uh, yeah it's basically showing no signs of really wanting to stop it's just kind of goes sideways for a moment and then pops back up again so really good stuff. Um, whilst you know the on-chain metrics uh, turn bullish ADA seems poised to reach all uh, and new all-time highs in the very near future. So Cardano price targets uh, an all-time high of $2 relatively quickly. Um, and it's the so-called Ethereum killer basically broke out uh, of the massive heads and shoulders, which is the one that I was calling out that I didn't think was going to happen. Um, so yeah, they had the shoulder one, you had the head, and then everyone was saying, oh, it's going to come back down here and form that second shoulder. But I wasn't convinced that was going to be the case. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't, and we've really pulled up nicely. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's a good thing to kind of point out. Um, and the patterns, you know, yeah, they, they've changed slightly. So since then, uh, you know, its price has risen uh, more than 100% since December. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to see how things definitely turn out. And it's more of an inverse um, head and shoulders, really, that's, uh, that's formed a little bit. But um, let's get into this chart a little bit deeper and see what's going on. 
So obviously we had that pullback today, which we kind of knew and was going to be expected um, because of your recent run up, we're going to run out of steam at some point, right? So um, it's kind of a necessary thing to happen and we can kind of see it here, we move up, we had the pullback, we move up again. Uh, and it's the same thing here, pull back, we pull back, we continue to get the motion to the upside. So the MACD is good, it's in a positive position on here on the daily. The volumes have decreased slightly uh, since the massive breakout scenario. Um, but uh, yeah, the RSI has also hit that 70 level and pulled back a little bit as well. So let's pull this a little bit lower. Let's pull it into the four hourly chart. And on this four hourly chart, you'll get an idea of actually what's going on here a little bit clearer. You also have uh, the, the volumes that you can see, these huge peaks, right, um, coming up, etc. And we obviously had one recently in the pullback most recently is down here. So a bit of a, a curve flattening down a little bit here. So we've been trading sideways on this four hourly chart um, since the price spiked. Now, with that price spike, we obviously came right up here uh, as overbought on the RSI, and we've cooled down a little bit heading towards that 60 level. Okay, so we're okay in the 60, and when we come down here before on a run, we can see how we could potentially move back to the upside before coming down for a complete cool off. Um, so things are looking okay here. Uh, the MACD has crossed, it's in a negative position currently. So we are indicating potentially that the volumes will turn negative or you know a bit of selling pressure. But as long as the volumes stay relatively flat, we can continue to go sideways within a tight channel. Um, and that would also lead us uh, into correcting the RSI ready for the next step. Um, so let's pull this down into the one hourly view. And, and from here again, you can see the, the same kind of data, but just a little bit more granular, right? So we can see that sideways trading. Uh, we can obviously see that the, the, the volume's gone right up and come right down and kind of flattened out a little bit. Uh, if we zoom on in here a little bit, we can see that we have a positive MACD most recently. We've come down relatively low on this RSI, hitting around the 38 or so before pulling up. And most recently, we're actually hitting the 50 level. Okay, so the volatility that you're seeing in this RSI down here is just representing the kind of um, trading sentiment that's out there. Um, so we are seeing um, some red candles right when we have low RSI, okay? And uh, basically, the, the good news here is from this overbought situation that we we're in uh, up here, uh, we haven't really significantly actually dropped that low of a price, yet the RSI has corrected quite significantly. So um, being at around 50 uh, on this RSI and traded sideways, the price is in a really good position to continue the motion to the upside if we get some more volume. So I get a feeling, Chris, that the volume is going to start coming in thick and fast. And the MACD is already in a positive position. The RSI can definitely correct from this 50 uh, back into this overbought situation very, very fast. So if I pull this back up into our daily view, um, that red candle, I can see it being maybe one, maybe two days maximum and um, before potentially pushing to the upside. The other question that I have here, Chris, is whether this upward trend line that we have scoped out for this channel is going to be valid and whether we're going to have a breakout from this area like we did from this particular um, resistance area. Um, straight up to our price target of 53 cent. So everything's looking really good um, for the Gogan launch, uh, the Merry Hard Fork. We'll see what kind of impact that has. Um, but right now, yeah, we were expecting a bit of a cooling period. It's good to see that actually it hasn't damaged the price. These candles are almost exactly the same. Um, so we can definitely start to get some momentum now. The RSI is corrected. Um, with a bit of volume, we can push this thing to the upside very, very quickly. So yeah, lots on the cards here. I still think we're going to see a $5 quite comfortably um, during 2021. Um, so that still represents about 1000% growth on the current position. Um, so everything's still going to plan, Chris. I think it's gonna be good. If by chance you're you know new to the channel and not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the videos and live streams that we do here uh, at Cheeky Crypto. Oh. Right, um, right, we hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care everyone.